Hi guys, for my choreographer, I chose Martha Graham. Um, I didn't really choose her because she's an amazing dancer slash choreographer, but because she has so much history tied to her and so much information that goes with who she is. Um, so some of the questions that we were asked are define her genre, which would be modern dance. Um, from previous videos that we've watched, we learned that Martha Graham is the pioneer of modern dance, that she is one of the people that is mainly responsible for the reason why we have modern dance. Um, and then asked us for the genre of um, the world roots of modern dance, which is, um, it was born in the 20th century. It was against, like to go against ballet because ballet was such strict composed movements. Modern dance kind of gave it like, um, was a dance so people could be free and express themselves rather than showing the same strict movements that ballet did that kind of restricted someone from showing their expressions and all that. Um, but yeah, so Martha Graham is like a pioneer of modern dance, which, you know, I researched and found out along with the videos that we've watched throughout the course of here. Um, and then it says, explain how the artist you study belongs to the genre. Like, what did they do for it? Like I said, Martha Graham is considered a pioneer to modern dance. Um, she used modern dance to kind of make her own language to like tell her own story along with other stories for it. Um, Martha Graham's known for contract and release um, along with she liked sharp jag movements, you know, kind of like how it rebels from ballet. Um, personal history about her, um, she is from Pennsylvania, um, she attended Dead Shot, um, dance school, which we know is from, you know, the two dancers, Ted Sean and Ruth St. Dennis. Um, she, uh, when she first started choreographing dance, she made it for women, like, she just choreographed for women, but as time went on, she started involving men in her dance choreography, um. Um, from the school that she made, the, the Martha Graham Dance Company, she taught many dancers that are famously known, such as Sophie Mauso, Eric Hawkins, Anna Salcosi, um, so on. There's many that attended her dance school, which I'm sure a lot of us would have loved to have gone to. Um, it says, reveal your subject artist influences, like what influenced her to do what she did and why she did what she did. Um, as I read, I read that Martha Graham was one for wanting to express herself like freely and tell what she was feeling, um, that she wanted to get away from those strict movements of ballet that didn't allow people to tell their feelings. Um, I read that her father was a physician, which, you know, we all know is a doctor. Um, and he told her the body never lies so it told me it's like we watched in another video that also said that she wanted to know more about the body and how it worked so um that's kind of what her fascination grew from wanting to move the body because of what her dad told her um her influence I know I've said this probably like 15 times but to get away modern dance was mostly known to get away from ballet people were tired of you know, ballet is beautiful. It is totally beautiful, but I would say that not everyone could express their true feelings from it, like you can in modern dance when you're just freely moving and everything. So I think Martha Graham truly wanted people to be able to express themselves freely, like without any trouble of doing that. That's what she wanted dance to be. Um, yeah, and that's about it. Ma Martha Graham's an amazing dancer. You know, um, she definitely had a huge impact on the dance world, and thankfully she is a pioneer to modern dance, or who knows if anybody else would have ever have thought of something like she did. So, yeah, thanks for listening.